If you'd like to dress up your SharePoint site with a banner, we do that in PowerPoint. I have PowerPoint open to just a blank window. I'm first of all going to get rid of the boxes that are here because they just get in the way. Click them when you see the four-headed arrow and hit the delete key on your keyboard. A banner is made up of three parts, a shape, clip art, and your text. So I'm going to first go into Insert Shapes. I can choose either the rounded corner or the square corner. I'll go with the rounded corner. I like to make mine the full width of the slide. It always comes in blue and you can certainly change the color later. You don't want to make it too tall because then it, would, it really takes up too much room on your SharePoint site. I have a video camera clip art already picked out. So I did my searching over here. I'm going to put it up here on top of my banner and resize it so that it fits. So I've got a little video camera. Next I will add my text and you need to use the word art because if you use normal text and then save this as a JPEG, which we will need to do, it makes the text fuzzy. So using word art keeps it uh, nice and sharp. So let's see, I'll pick out something that I think will go with it. Get rid of the text that is there. I move that up into my box. Stretch it out as I need to. If I want to change anything about it, I can click on the shape itself and I have my drawing tools to format. You can choose some preset designs if you like. I kind of like this one that has the edges that look like it's um, sitting up higher beveled. So now I've got my three parts and the next thing I need to do is to turn this into a graphic. The first thing I do is select them all, and I'm going to do that by hitting the control A on my keyboard. You could also do it by just dragging a box literally over all of them, and that selects them all. Go into your picture tools and group. Group turns the three objects into one. And next I need to right click on top of it and go to the Save as Picture option. Find a place that you can locate it again. And I'm going to save it. You notice it does save it as a PNG or Portable Network Graphics Format. That works quite well to um, take this image then and put it onto SharePoint. So I'm going to click Save. And that's the way we complete the banner. When you close out of PowerPoint, it will ask you if you want to save the PowerPoint, and you really don't need to unless you want to come back and edit this uh, additionally. The file you have saved is a picture file that you will use on your SharePoint site.